Let's take a look at how we can calculate a new column in an attribute table in QGIS. In my map canvas, I have a map layer covering the United Kingdom and its local government districts. If I open the table, we can see that we've got the names of places, lots of other data, but we also have the number of people by single year of age in each area. So we have that and we also have the total population in one column. But we don't have any columns with a percentage of population by area. If we wanted to map it, we could do it quite easily. We don't need to calculate a new column. So if I want to map the percentage of people in each area who are 90 years or older, I can double click the layer, go to symbology, change it to graduated, and in the value button, I can see all my columns, but I can click the little expression button and use my fields and values to calculate a percentage. So here I'll just do age 90 plus double click divided by my population mid 2019 variable. I'll double click and I'll multiply it by a hundred to get a percentage figure. If I click okay, let me change the color ramp, change it to the color scheme called nice blues. I'll click classify and then okay. And then we get a graduated color scheme showing the percentage who are 90 plus in each area. So that didn't create a new variable, but we can easily create one in the table. To do that, I'll open the table and then all I need to do from there is hit the little abacus button. You can, of course, do it just by clicking the abacus button in the toolbar, but this is the way I usually do it. So I'll click the button and I'm going to create a new field. I'll call it PCT for percent 90 plus. We don't want to use integer because that's going to only give us round numbers. We want to use decimal number. So it's going to have decimal places. And it's the same as before. We just go to fields and values. And then we want our variables here. So we want the one that says age 90 plus, double click, divide by population, double click. And I want to multiply that by 100 to give us a percentage. One more thing I want to do so we don't have loads of decimal places is type in format underscore number and then an open bracket. And then after where it says 100, I'll put in a comma I'll put in the number two and I'll close those brackets. What that does is it formats my number so it's only got two decimal places rather than loads. So if I click OK, I'll scroll to the end and there I've got my new column. When you click on the abacus, it puts the table in edit mode. So the final step is to click the little pencil icon QGIS will ask if you want to save the changes. I'll hit save and I'll close the table. And now when I go back to double click on the layer name to open up the attributes for layer properties, symbology is there. And now I have a new column called percent 90 plus and I can classify by that value. So you can of course just do this with an expression, but if you want to create a new column, hit the abacus button to open the field calculator, and then you can create a new column. If you want to edit an existing column, you can choose update existing field and perform calculations in any of those. So that's how you add a new field in QGIS. Hopefully you'll find that useful in your work.